Hi guys, we're gonna cook a beautiful brown stew fish in serving kitchen from start to finish. Hi guys, welcome to Selvan Kitchen guys. Welcome to Selvan Kitchen. Today we have a beautiful, delicious recipe for you guys. You know that when you come on to Selvan Kitchen people, we are always doing something new. So we're gonna show you how you cook a nice brunch to fish. But today we're gonna cook a nice delicious brunch to fish today. So we're gonna use the red snapper today because a lot of people know about red snapper. So today we're gonna use the parrot fish. It's a nice, beautiful, three, nice size parrot fish already scale them already already got them already washed them up cut off the tails off so for you this is all the season we're going to use for the the parrot fish we have one teaspoon of iso sauce we have one teaspoon of soya sauce we have one teaspoon of ketchup we have one teaspoon of all-purpose flour we have some pimento grain that we're going to use i'm going to crush up the pimento grain pimento grain is all spice guys when you're doing like jerk or you boil in manish water you put in the pimento grain over here we have one teaspoon of all-purpose season we have a quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder we have a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder we have a quarter of a teaspoon of fish season nice beautiful fish season here people we're gonna use half of lime if you guys don't have lime you can use lemon or you can use vinegar and we have six okra we're gonna use over here we have one white onion we have one tomato we have a half of orange bell pepper we have a half of green bell pepper we have a half of red bell pepper we have two small carrot we have some thyme here we're going to use people for the beautiful recipe in selvin kitchen guys beautiful recipe we're going to do yes people we're going to do now that's going to slice up the fish so I ain't gonna cut the fish in me, I'm just gonna make some slice in it. So when I'm putting the season, I want the season to go all over the fish and to marinate in the fish properly. So we're gonna do now we're just gonna slice put some slice right in the fish, straight across like that. Get a sharp knife, people. Just one, 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 two, three, four slices on each side. So one, two, three four slices so in the middle of the fish right here where we cut we're gonna put some season right between it so when we're frying it since the season can marinate through the fish properly so that's one two three two three four yes guys what we're gonna do now we're just gonna season up this fish we're just gonna mix up this all-purpose season, the fish season, the onion powder, the garlic powder. So we want every all of the season to combine in one. So we want to season up the fish. Beautiful. So we'll mix up all of that season. So we're just gonna get some inside of that fish. So we want some got right down in the head, the body of the fish. And where I cut it a while ago, right here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of season right down in it. So when, when you find that fish, people, that fish well seasoned, I say, yes, that fish tastes delicious. It's a beautiful fish. Because in Jamaica, guys, this fish, we eat this fish a lot in Jamaica. We eat a lot of red snapper, about parrot fish, I'm telling you. So just add some season right down in it and sprinkle a little bit over the head. Put some right in the belly of the fish. Okay, don't see if you season up a fish guy, don't season up a fish outside and you don't put no season inside of it. In between that fish, what I say. And thank you guys for watching Selvin Kitchen videos, them guys. Please hit that notification bell, guys. So when I post a video, you guys will get it because Selvin Kitchen, we have a lot of awesome, delicious recipe coming out, guys. Cause you guys never know what Selvin Kitchen gonna post. Awesome, delicious recipe. Guys, we're gonna post some wild bow. We're gonna post some mountain goat. Guys, just eat that notification. Eat it, guys. Eat it. 
So we're not going to do no people. Just going to put a little bit over it. Over the fish. Yes, guys. So what I'm going to do now, I put on my pot. It's quite hot. And now I'm just going to add some vegetable oil in it. You can use any type of cooking oil for your lightness. I'm going to have a run around a cup full. I want this fish to fry properly. So we're in a cup and a half of vegetable oil. I want my my oil to coat my fish properly. I don't want my fish to fry outside and my fish don't fry inside. So that's why I use so much oil. By the way, guys, I'm gonna leave that to hot for around two minutes and then after I'm gonna head in my fish. So I'm just gonna turn up the stove for around 260 to 80. Yes, guys, I just add in my parrot fish in this oil. This part to fry for the last one minute. I'm just gonna give them three minutes to three and a half minutes on each side because parrot fish is not very hard to fry. In Jamaica, we eat a lot of parrot fish. Guys, we eat a lot of red snapper, but parrot fish is our favorite fish. If you guys never had parrot fish before, check my comment. If you who have parrot fish before, still check my comment and let me know or you guys like it or you guys prepare it. So today I'm brunched to parrot fish. Yes guys, so my fish have been frying for the last three minutes on that side. So what I do now, we're gonna turn them around. So when you're turning your fish guys, be careful because you don't want your fish to break. So all you're gonna just turn it around like that. Look at a beautiful parrot fish guys. So we go for the next one. Hold it, don't lift it up. Just twist it like that. Okay, you don't want you to break up your fish. And we turn the next one. The three beautiful parrot fish we're doing in Selvin Kitchen today, guys. A brunch to fish. Most of the time we're doing brunch to fish, guys. We use the red snapper. But today I'm using a different fish. Because you know, guys, when you come on to Selvin Kitchen, we're always doing something new. We always have a new idea. So thank you guys to watching the videos them. All of my new subscribers that were subscribed to Selvin Kitchen. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. And guys, hit that notification bell so when Selvin Kitchen posts a video, you guys will get it. Because Selvin Kitchen have a lot more recipe coming out. So I'm gonna give that three minutes on that side to three and a half minutes, and then I take them out, and then I, I'll show you guys what I'm, what I'm gonna do. See that guys, why I slice the fish? Because I'll get to go between the fish and fry the fish properly. And why I put so much oil in the pot to fry the fish? Cause I want inside of my fish to fry properly. If you guys can look at it, all in the fish head, you have the oil circulate right in the fish head in the body of the fish. So my fish get fried properly. So I don't want outside of my fish to fry and then inside of my fish don't fry. Okay people, so make sure you coat the fish properly with enough oil to fry your fish properly. So you get a wonderful, beautiful fried fish. Can we look at our brown stew fish today in Selvin Kitchen. So I'm gonna give that another one minute, then I take it out. Okay, you don't want to fry your fish too crispy. Yes, guys, so now I'm just gonna take out this fish right now. I'm just gonna take them out and put them in here. Then I'm gonna look out for the rest of the season them. So this is a beautiful, nice parrot fish, people. I'm gonna hold my fish properly because I don't want my fish to break. Look at that, people. Beautiful parrot fish. Nice one, delicious. Oh my God. See what I sliced my fish right there? The oil fried right between those fish. The season is still there, people. This is a big one. So 
So now what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna short some of this aisle. I don't want to use so much aisle. That, can put that over there to cool. All this now, we're gonna use this. We don't wanna wash out this. We're gonna use this again. So this is all of the season, all of the all purpose, all of the chicken, eh, fish season, all of the garlic powder, all of the onion powder is right here. This is right, the magic happened right here, people. People, I just fry my fish and I just throw off the aisle. I didn't clean up this pot because all of the season still in that pot, that garlic powder, that onion powder. Now I'm just gonna add in my onion, I'm just gonna add in my scotch bunny pepper, I'm just gonna add in my carrot. So the bell pepper and the tomato, I'm just gonna add them in last, and the okra, I'm just gonna add them in last. Now I'm just gonna clean all of that season from around that pot, just all where the magic happened, people. All of the season, all of the garlic powder, the onion powder, the all-purpose season, the fish season, everything is there. So just mixing everything like that before I add in the rest of my season them in it. It's a beautiful recipe we're doing in Selvin Kitchen. We're doing a brown stew fish, guys. We're going to use the parrot fish. Beautiful recipe. Yes, guys, so I'm going to crush up my pimento. I ain't going to put it in my pimento hole. Cause some people, you can put it in like that by the grain, but I like to crush it up. I don't like when I'm eating a pimento grain. It's in my mouth, so I'm just going to crush that up. people yes guys am I cooking up over there so I'm just gonna hide in my rest of my powder season remember guys we're cooking a brown stew fish today in Southern kitchen guys brown stew fish This is the flour what we're doing guys, the one half a teaspoon of flour. You don't want to mix it up, get all of that lumps out, get a fork. Don't add in too much water. Just mix it up like that. So now I'm just gonna add in my rest of my the bell pepper, the okra, the tomato. Yes, people, look at that. Gonna add in my soy sauce, my ice sauce, and my ketchup. I don't add in no salt as yet because the ice sauce and the soy sauce have a bit of salt in it and the all purpose season. So guys, don't add in the salt as yet, till you taste it first. When you taste it, you want to add a little bit of salt, you can put in a little bit of salt in it. But don't add in no salt as yet, till you put in your fish and you put in everything is in the pot. Give that two minutes before I add in my fish. Yes, people, look at that. It's coming down nicely with the okra, bell pepper, tomato, carrot, onion, Thyme, scotch bunny pepper. It's all in it, people. It's all in it. So I give that two minutes there. So now I'm just gonna add in my fish now. So now it's gonna add in my fish, guys. Oh yes, people. Just use a hand and I'll sink them down. So I want to get all of that season, all of that bell pepper, all of that, everything is on the fish. I want to put the fish on the bottom. I'm looking for a brown stew fish beef, a brown stew fish we're doing today. So this is the 
one teaspoon of all-purpose flour. Let's add a little bit one side first. Cause you don't want to get lumpy there and thick it too much. Then I had a little bit in the middle. Just mix that right round. As I add it, add it in, in the pot. Just give it a little mix right straight away. Next side. Oh yes, people, look at that. Look at that, guys. Beautiful brunch to fish. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to that. Gonna add around half a cup of water. I ain't gonna put too much water in this. I wanna get all of that turned around like that. Oh yes, you wanna get all of that juice over that fish. I'm gonna turn on the fire very low. Then I'm gonna leave it two minutes to steam them properly. Yes guys, so he's on the fire for the last one minute. So now I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of butter. I'm using the anchor butter today guys. You can use any type of cooking butter you want, but I think the anchor butter give it a different flavor in my opinion. This is my opinion. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of butter. So now I just wanna spread this butter all over it. Let's turn it around. Let's spread over those fish. Careful when I spin over the fish, guys. You don't want the fish to break up. Just give that another two minutes. Yes, guys, it's on for three minutes. So now I'm just gonna squeeze some lime in it. So the last thing I put in guys is the lime. You can use vinegar if you want or you can use lemon but I'm using off of fresh lime. You can't get the lime fresher than this guys. Off of fresh lime. Yes guys so what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna add some of this juice or this nice juice on the top of it. So now we're gonna do now guys like we're adding all of the seasons them all of the spice and everything in it now what we're gonna do now we're gonna taste it now we're gonna give it a taste if you need any more salt if you need any more salt you can add some salt to it but the last thing you do you just give it a taste just a little bit in your hand that's fine that's perfect because I don't like a lot of salt Look at that guys, nice brunch to fish guys. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh my days. Coming on nicely people, nice brunch to fish. Guys, this is all finished now, people. Yes, people, this is all finished. This is my brunch to fish in Selvin Kitchen. This is a brunch to parrot fish, people. We don't use the red snapper today. It's a beautiful fish. We, we everybody in Jamaica love this fish. So anybody have this fish be before, drop me a comment. Anybody never have parrot fish before? Please drop me one or two or three comments. Don't be scared. Because in Selvin Kitchen, we're always doing something new. So thank you guys for watching.
Guys, share the video with your friends and family. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Selvin Kitchen because we have a lot more awesome, delicious recipe coming out, people. And guys, please hit that notification so when I post a video, you guys will get it. And guys, please give me a thumbs up for the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Selvin Kitchen, we're always doing something new. Stay safe. Love, Selvin Kitchen.